What up everybody, welcome back to my channel. And today we're gonna to be talking about my first couple weeks in barber school. So for those of you who don't know, I enrolled into barber school at Paul Mitchell here in San Diego and their night barber school program. The barber program is 1500 hours and right now the night program is Monday through Thursday, 5 to 10 p.m. So for those of you who are wondering, that's the schedule for the night program. So some really cool things about the school, everybody is really friendly, which is really important uh, in an environment like that. It can be very intimidating uh, being in a field like that with uh, you know some people that may know a lot, some people that may not understand it yet or are not, you know, as skilled as you yet it can be scary it can be scary honestly but my experience being there is everyone's been so cool i've made like a lot of new friends already people that i probably wouldn't have met otherwise you know so i have a lot of people in my class that are from other states and stuff like that there's a guy there from brooklyn a girl from arizona a girl from uh, mexico came and so i think it's really cool that um i'm being pushed out of my comfort zone to meet these people and stuff like that so that's really cool also like out in the floor you know with like people that are already there or people that are like getting ready to wrap it up and about to graduate um they're just really friendly everybody's very like willing to help out and stuff like that and so that's, that's something that um i've noticed being there um, I get to be passing by with like a doll head or something and somebody will just stop me and say, hey, you know, how's your first week going or, you know, do you need help with anything? And like, I don't even know them. And so just that environment is really, really cool. And I think that Paul Mitchell has like a be nice policy or something like that. I think I've mentioned that before. Um, and so that's really cool that um, it really does make a big difference being around people like that. Even the instructors, you know, every time I talk to an instructor, whether they be my instructor or or like somebody I haven't even really met yet. They're just very like encouraging. It just really seems like they're very approachable. I feel like I could probably ask anybody for like anything, like any question I have, I could probably literally ask anyone in the school at any moment and like, I feel like they'd be cool about it. Um, and there's a lot of environments that you get into that are not so welcoming like that. Um, and so I think that's something that's really cool. As far as what I'm learning, the way that it starts out is, um, well, for the night program, I think it's like 12 weeks of core. And that's all like classroom, like fundamental work. Um, and so we're not out like, you know, doing clients or learning to actually like cut hair or anything like that. The class is like 16 people, but it's split like half for cosmetologists and half for barbers. Um, but we're all in the same class learning the same fundamentals and stuff like that. So that's something I really didn't expect because, you know, not, not everything is like geared towards barbering. And so that's kind of different for me when um, like I'm having a, using like a curling iron, you know, to make curls and I'm learning how to put rollers in and, um, and stuff like that. So that's something I didn't expect, um, but it's still cool to learn it. And then like on Thursdays, um, we're getting to go and be with the, the barber instructors, like solely just with the barber instructors um, and learn, you know, something that really pertains to barbering. If it were up to me, I'd like to be more with the barber side, but you know, I don't, I also don't mind learning fundamentals because I think that is kind of something that separates Paul Mitchell from other schools is that like a lot of other barbers in different schools are not getting this type of training. And so that'll like set me apart as a barber once I am finished with this program. Something else is I didn't know how hard it would be. And so, you know, like us guys, like we think girls take forever to get ready and just learning this stuff, learning like the detail that goes into hair or like partying and curling and blow drying and I, it's just so crazy i didn't they really go in depth and they teach you like a lot of stuff and i feel like um in just these two weeks um i've learned so much stuff like sometimes it feels like i'm going on an overload but then like our instructor will slow things down and i just she, like we had a review the other day and she reviewed like the, all the information that we kind of learned over the last couple weeks so it is a lot of information, but it's cool, especially it being something that I want to get into. It's different. Like I find myself like wanting to absorb all of it, you know, and that's something I didn't really expect. That's something I didn't really expect, you know, getting into because at first I thought like, oh, I'm going to go into barbering school. So I'm going to learn barbering. And then she's like, yo, get out your curling irons, and your blow dryers. And I'm like, what? like, you know, but then getting into it, like, you know, learning like different types of blow dries and pre-dry and stuff like that and how to set colors or how to even part. Like that stuff is a struggle. I wish I had my doll head here because I could show you guys. I had the worst doll head in my class. Like she was getting like little dreads and stuff like that. She's not supposed to. Um, and like I'll be blow drying and everyone's like doing great and my doll head looks 
awful. And so I'll come home and I'll practice and go back to school and, and just keep trying. Um, and it's weird just doing that a little bit, I see my progress and it's just like, it's crazy just like the methods they teach you um, actually make like a huge difference. And I just, I thought blow drying meant you put the thing on and you make sure the hair is dry after that and you just go all over the place until it's done. And like, that's definitely not the case. So uh, that's something that's really cool. Um, I think that anybody that is looking to get into this program is like, it's, I, I would do it. Um, the cool thing also is like they offer like a dual licensing program or something like that. Like when you sign up for both, so you, you sign up, you take your 1600 hours of cosmetology, you get your license, and then they let you come back as a transfer student and finish your 200 hours and get your barber license. So, um, and 1800 hours, you can get two licenses. You can't do it in reverse and start with your barbering and then go and get the cosmetology. They won't let you do that. But you know, if you decide to do both from the beginning, they let you get both licenses in 1800 hours, which is, insane because like that's cool if you're interested in getting both licenses but yeah those are my first two weeks i think it's been really cool i'm always super excited to go to school i'm at work like counting down the hours that, so i can go home and change and go to school but i will try to give you guys an update um here and there you know to let you guys know what's going on but um that's been this video i hope you guys liked it like let me know if you have any more questions in the comment section down below i'll uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it um but yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you guys next time